So hello, my name is Dr. Greg Forlenza. I'm a pediatric endocrinologist here at the Barbara Davis Center, and I'll be talking briefly about the new Medtronic 670G. So for people that don't know, the 670G is the first artificial pancreas system approved by the FDA, which was approved last September and is now going to be rolling out next month uh, for regular clinical use for patients with type 1 diabetes. This is what's called a hybrid closed loop system, meaning that patients still have to bolus uh, for the carbs and the food that they eat at mealtimes, but the rest of the time, the program on the system is listening to the sensor and is adjusting insulin dosing for the basal rates in real time in the background. We've been doing studies with this device for over six years here at the Barbara Davis Center, and we're involved in the main trials that got it approved both in adults and in children down to 14 years old. So we're very excited to see this technology move from the research setting to the, the patient care setting. Um, what's interesting about this project is that we've actually had our research staff working with our clinical staff to train them because a lot of centers have no experience with this, whereas our research staff has been having patients using this device at home for over a year and a half now. So we've developed a lot of practical experience in patients using uh, this system. And so right now we have five people who are using the system clinically outside of a research study. And what they tell us is that the first couple of weeks are like learning uh, diabetes new, that things are very, very different, and there's a pretty steep learning curve over the first couple of weeks, but that they feel that it's worth it because their blood sugar control has been so good. They've been in range um, over two-thirds of the time, up to 75% of the time, with no hypoglycemia or less than 2% hypoglycemia. And they found that once they learn how to work with the device and learn the new things about it, that their diabetes is a lot less stressful and a lot easier to take care of. And so we're very pleased to hear that. And so in the next really three months, we're going to be going from having five people on it to having over 200 people on it. And so we have a lot of people that are going to be going through a staged rollout over the summer so that we hope to have several hundred people on it um, by the fall. We're working with insurance companies to try and increase insurance coverage um, to patients beyond just uh, you know, the, the narrow setting, but to have almost all insurance programs uh, be covering it. We're writing letters to try and convince um, insurance executives this is an essential technology. There's a lot of research supporting its use. And we're also conducting the trials to get the device approved, hopefully down to seven years old by later this year and eventually down to two years old if we find that it's safe. And so there's a lot going on and things are continuing to move forward very quickly and we're excited to be doing these things to help improve care for our patients with diabetes and to help make their lives better and easier.